Hey guys, it's Molly. I'm here today to bring you a channeled reading. Yep, we're still at this. Yeah, mm-hmm. Uh-huh, a big emotional tornado came through. Yes, okay. For the passionate guitar player. All right, uh-huh. Okay, let's hear about it. Here's all the signs we have left. All right, uh-huh. And I am gonna give you, okay, we have Virgo. I'm gonna give you, uh-huh, speaking of guitars and Capricorn, I'm gonna give you my guitar update, okay. Uh-huh, all right. Okay, uh-huh. So, uh-huh, okay. Hmm, let me see, how did I do that? Just like this. <gasps> Remember, I found the new way to see this. Okay, somebody be, may be looking at something from a totally new way. Okay. Uh-huh. All right, I'm going to put that over there. Put that over there. Okay. Uh, Virgo and Capricorn, my name's Molly. I am channeling right now. Anything I say is party message. I'm a clear audience, psychic empath. Uh-huh. Starseed librarian for the Akashic Records. Okay. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Six of Cups vibes. Yep. Uh-huh. All right. I'm going to take two more. Okay. I'm going to take Virgo and Capricorn. Uh-huh. Whoa. Okay. Here are the two. Okay. We have ancestors and gratitude. Innocence, ancestors, and gratitude. All right. So it's coming through for the past life. We definitely have spirit guides at work. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to take, uh huh. Yep. Okay. We're going to take three messages from the Divine Masculine. Okay, tell us about innocence for Virgo and Capricorn. Uh-huh. Innocence. Okay. I guess this goes for ancestors. There is an intense fire in my heart for you. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. Now that goes for innocence. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. I hear hearts of fire. Yep. All right. This masculine's heart chakra is open. Uh-huh. And activated. Okay. Passion. Okay. Tell us about the ancestors for Virgo and Capricorn. Ancestors. That's the message. Uh-huh. The sparkle makes my heart swell so much. Sometimes I stumble over my words. All right. So, uh-huh, so this masculine is uh, maybe thinking about coming forward. They may be writing a song. They may be writing lyrics, something like that. They may be, uh-huh, super inspired by their muse. Mm-hmm, she's full of innocence and fun. Uh-huh, all right. Uh-huh, the name Marco or Mark might mean something. Okay. Gratitude. Let's hear what gratitude has to say. Oh, okay. Beautiful roses grow in my heart when you're around. Uh-huh. Yep. All right. Okay, let's do it. Now let me figure out if I can. Uh -huh. All right. So Virgo and Capricorn, I, uh -huh. I'm going to give you my guitar update. Yeah, this for sure has to do. Yeah. All right. So this passionate guitar player. He wants to do whatever he can.
Yeah! I freaking love playing guitar, you guys! Who knew? Who knew? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's see. All right, so somebody, mm-hmm. We have the passionate guitar player, yep. Uh-huh, his heart chakra for sure is open. Uh-huh. He channeled the most beautiful guitar solo ever. Yep. Uh-huh. All right. He may be sending creative vibes. Yep. To his divine counterpart. All right. All right. Whoa. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Whoa. That just totally popped. Yeah, look at that. Uh-huh. The Ace of Swords with solid goldie. There's her pigtails. Yes. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. I hear she's such a vibrant thing. I hear Q-tip. Uh-huh. Okay. This masculine understands this connection. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Spirit has delivered the Ace of Swords about Goldie, about uh -huh, the Six of Cups relationship from the past. Solid Goldie mm -hmm, is full of innocence. Yeah. Solid Goldie is the go-go dance line cheerleader hippie chick. Uh-huh. Okay. Now those look like the socks I had to put on yesterday in the boots. Yep. Okay. Uh-huh. And he may get, be getting an idea. Uh-huh. The red door may mean something. Uh-huh. He may be getting an idea. Uh, it could have to do with acting, something like that. Okay. He's realizing there's an intense fire in his heart for the vibe of Solid Goldie. Yes. Uh-huh. Because she opened his heart chakra. Uh-huh. Barn swallows. Yeah. Oh, she might be the disco chicken. Yeah. Okay, he's realizing this person, mm -hmm, this this soulmate from the past. They may be someplace they don't they don't like where they're at. Yep. Uh, the disco chicken may have really inspired him. The disco chicken wants to be a disco dancer. Uh huh. But she's stuck here, wherever this place is, with the red door. Yeah. And uh, so does. Mm -hmm. Does she just sit in there on a chair and think about how much she wished she was a disco dancer and cry all day? No. She hung a disco dance, uh-huh, a disco dance ball. Okay, she hung a disco dance ball, uh-huh, right in the middle of her living room. And she disco dances every single day. Yeah. Uh-huh. She's become a professional disco dancer in this place. Yeah. And he loves it. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. This masculine may be realizing he's in love with Solid Goldie, okay? Uh-huh. We have ancestors here that are smiling upon this relationship, all right? Somebody may get a crown. Somebody's crown chakra may have opened, uh-huh. Okay, for a second that looked like D-A-D-D-Y, daddy. Like big daddy, uh-huh, okay? Big daddy sees his ingenue, uh-huh. Her sparkle makes his heart swell so much. Sometimes he stumbles over his world. Uh huh. His worlds. Uh huh. Okay. Let's hear about that. All right. Tell us about that. Okay. I picked up the deck and this stayed down. All right. We could have a Pisces coming into play. Okay. This is a hanged man. All right. All right. This person, mm-hmm, spent quite a long time, yes, without their heart sparkling. No, their heart chakra was closed. Yes. So spirit took them and hung them up by their foot. Yep. Sent in Solid Goldie and their ancestors. Solid Goldie is an earth angel. Yep. She's here in the 3D. Yep. And their ancestors, uh-huh, to open their heart chakra. 
All right, their divine purpose could be called upon. If this is a musician, they could be a very passionate guitar player, or something like that. It doesn't have to be guitar. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, this person may be shy. Uh huh. They may be wanting, needing to come forward. Yep. Uh huh. All right. So, spirit. Okay, yep, it's time to come down out of the tree. Okay. Mm hmm. Yep, okay. So, Spirit hung this person by their foot so they could see something from a totally different perspective. Okay. Uh huh. And they're finally seeing the onk. Okay. Uh huh. All right. She could be a high priestess, and he's coming to understand it now. All right, uh, uh-huh. So now, this person has been illuminated, uh-huh. All right, I see his cell phone tucked into his shorts right here. Black shorts might mean something, okay. And he's deciding, uh-huh, mm -hmm, he might be watching something on his cell phone, something, whatever it is, uh-huh. It's illuminated him, okay, all right. And we have gratitude and beautiful roses grow in my heart when you're around. All right. So he's realized, uh-huh, solid gold. He made his heart bloom. All right. Uh-huh. He's understanding this love. Okay. And he has, uh-huh, gratitude for the metamorphosis. He knows his heart chakra has been open and he's been enlightened. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Cool. Virgo and Capricorn. What's the message on that? Oh, okay. You got two. All right. Uh-huh. There's the teacher of balance. Yeah. All right. So we have uh, material work and material success. All right. He's coming. He may come forward now uh -huh, and say, hey, I want to work with you. Uh-huh. You're the teacher of balance. Yeah. Uh-huh. I want to tend the garden with you. Beautiful roses. Uh-huh. Growing your garden. All right. These two may be coming together. Uh-huh. Uh, Three of Pentacles is coming together. Working together. Master and apprentice. Uh-huh. Little fish, big fish. Yep. Mm-hmm. These people may show people the light. Uh-huh, the light keepers. There may be spiritual leaders here, starting a whole new thing. Yep. Uh-huh, getting it all ready. Uh-huh. This could be the super weird university. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My nose is itching like crazy. Uh-huh. All right. Uh-huh. This super weird university could teach people uh -huh, how to go through the metamorphosis, open their heart chakra, open their crown chakra. Uh huh. With the help of Solid Goldie, the Earth Angel. She's the same, uh huh. She's the same person, same colors. Yep. She may teach people who are stuck in their shadows, sad, hope, hopeless. Okay. She may teach them. To come in touch with their innocence of the past, play with their inner child, uh huh. How to balance them, all right, uh huh. And now, big daddies, uh huh. Flex and BDE for the teacher of balance, uh huh. Solid Goldie, okay, uh huh. Somebody may be investing in something, the super weird university, uh huh. They may be hiring a new teacher. All right, there's lots of gratitude that comes in for her secret garden. All right, okay, oh my gosh, okay. I'm looking right at this oracle. All right, let's take a final message from this oracle. Oh, what's the final 
message for Virgo and Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now I need one message from this guy. Virgo and Capricorn, final message. Our hearts met in a past life. They remember. Barn swallows. All right. There's your message for today, Virgo and Capricorn. Now, Virgo and Capricorn, I'll watch this back. And uh, when I watch it back, I just get certain buzzwords that glow out in my mind's eye. Mm -hmm. I am an activated star seed, and I'm a librarian for the Akashic Records. So this is when... I slide into my librarian status. Yeah. So you gotta go to the library. That's down in the comments. Yeah. So if you're on a TV, I don't think you can see the comments. So make sure you check it out on your phone because this is only the first part of your experience with spirit today. The second part is down in the comments where you, where you get your second wave of information that's meant just for you. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Mm hmm Okay. So I'll write those buzzwords down on a piece of paper. Sometimes they're phrases. Yep. And uh, I'll, I'll type some of the buzzwords in a, in a search of past readings that have that word in the title. And a whole bunch of past readings will pop up. And I'll copy and paste them in the exact order they pop up. Uh-huh, and that's your other message. So the buzzword will be in a parenthesis uh -huh, with a little asterisk around it, yep. Sometimes there'll be a dash with a little bit of the letter, the word after it. That's because I had to delete letters off the end of the word until something popped up, yep. So uh, you might see the word uh -huh, with a little dash and then a little bit more of the word. That's what's going on. Mm -hmm. Figure out the mystery, yeah. You did. Oh, cool. Uh-huh. And now they're all passionate. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Glowing in their green aura. Yep. Writing the most beautiful guitar solo ever. Yep. Oh, I love it. Okay. Uh-huh. It's time to go to school. Soul school. All right. Peace out, Virgo and Capricorn. Guess who loves you? Me. Uh huh. Guess who else loves you? Yourself. Yep. That's the greatest love of all. Uh huh. All right. Peace out. Have a great day today. I love you.